Assalamu alaikum, hello and welcome dear viewers. Sayyida Zaina, born into a world of tears and suffering. It was approximately five years after the Muslims accompanied the Prophet, peace be upon him, and his family on the migration, Hijra to Medina. When the Holy Prophet's daughter, Lady Fatima, peace be upon her, gave birth to a girl, her first daughter, when her father, Imam Ali, saw his daughter for the first time, Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, who was then almost three years old, was with him. al Hussein exclaimed in delight, O oh father, Allah has given me a sister. At those words, Imam Ali began to weep. And when Hussein asked why he was crying so, his father answered that he would soon come to know. Fatima and Ali did not name their child until a few days after her birth, for they awaited the Prophet's return from a journey so that he could propose the name. When finally the baby girl was brought before him, he held her in his lap and kissed her. The angel Gabriel came to him and conveyed the name that was to be hers. And then he began to weep. The Prophet asked why Gabriel wept and he answered, O Prophet of Allah, from early on in life, this girl will remain entangled in tribulations and trials in this world. First she will weep over your separation from this world, thereafter she will bemoan the loss of her mother, then her father and then her brother Hassan. After all this, she will be confronted with the trials of the land of Karbala and the tribulations of that lonely desert. As a result of which her hair will turn grey and her back will be bent. When the members of Ahl al-Bayt heard this prophecy, they all broke down in tears. Imam Hussain now understood why earlier his father had also wept. Then the Prophet named her Zainab. The adornment of her father, Zinatul Ab, when the news of Zainab's birth reached Salman al-Farsi, he went to Ali to congratulate him. But instead of seeing him happy and rejoicing, he saw Ali was looking sad and was crying. And he too was apprised of the events of Karbala and the hardships that there were to befall Zainab. One day when Zainab was about five years old, she had a strange and terrible dream. A violent wind arose in the city and darkened the earth and the sky. The little girl was tossed hither and thither and suddenly she found herself stuck in the branches of a huge tree. But the wind was so strong that it uprooted the tree. Zainab caught hold of a branch, but that broke. In a panic, she grabbed two twigs, but these two gave way and she was left falling with no support. Then she woke up when she told her grandfather, the Prophet, peace be upon him, about this dream. He wept bitterly and said, O oh my daughter, that tree is me who is shortly going to leave this world. The branches are your father, Ali, and your mother, Fatima al-Zahra, peace be upon her, and the twigs are your brothers, Hassan and Hussein. They will all depart this world before you do, and you will suffer their separation and loss.